So, sexual orientation. Ah, yes. How we, complicated. It is complicated. When a young woman write in, when she was a little girl, she had crushes on boys and girls. Listen. So I did would, I. I. You know, your best girlfriend and the little boy. You know, you know you, what my fantasy was? An angle worm would crawl up my leg and get inside my panties <laughs> and go up my little wee-wee. And I had to go get someone to help me get it out. Ooh. Doctor. <laughs> sometimes it was a little boy and sometimes it was a little girl. It didn't matter. It didn't matter which one. So then when she was 17, she identified as a lesbian and she was really with women exclusively. In school. Yeah. Now she's mid-20s yeah. and now she finds herself really attracted to men and having sex with men. So now I guess Plus, she's, she prefers the company of women. Yes. Yeah, she's attracted to their physicality and their sexuality. So we all are. Guilty is charged. <laughs> I try my damnedest. Law OC. It's like you want to be a lesbian so bad. Well, it would make life you simpler. Know. I mean, not in terms of the culture, mm -hmm. but in terms of your personal life. So she's struggling with the bisexual label. <laughs> Nobody knows what it means. Yes. Fritz. What's his last name? Fritz Klein. He has the best book on bisexuality. Definitive. And he did a lot of the research. He self-funded. Yeah. yeah. And what he found was bisexuality is a stable orientation. People don't grow out of it. It's kind of there is gay, straight, bisexual, and that's it. My opinion, personally, is that we should do everything and that we should have that always open to us throughout our lifetime yeah. and at different phases and different periods. We would do different sex with different people. That it would never be fixed heterosexual it would be hetero flexible i like that hetero flexible yeah. and the other one it would be homo flexible because you know there are gays who go ugh the opposite sex i've had sex with gay men that never had sex with women before but they're like i find myself strangely attracted to you i think it's because i'm kind of bossy and masculine you know but i look feminine on the outside i don't know i wouldn't trust it i mean yes i i have the, i've had the same experience but they don't like it, basically. It's not... The, what I'm talking about is, yes, there are some gay men who are bisexual. It's like, mm -hmm. that's their preference. But they never... There are also some homosexuals who are fixed homosexuals. Yes, they exactly. They cannot stand women. They no. don't want to be anywhere near Pussy, me. it's like, get it Blah. away from me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So the point, I think, that that people need to consider is that we're everything, and that we should have the advantages of being everything. It's the culture, the society makes, are you straight or gay? Are you pink or blue? Are you boy or girl? It's all this either or, black and white, you know. It's fluid. Oh, it is. It's definitely fluid, and that we should all be more fluid. When I finally dealt with this. As How a, do you get more fluid, though? How do you do that? You know what I mean? Because that's a lot to work through. I was thinking about it myself. When was the first time I was with a woman well, that I could kind of move through that? I, I don't think I would ever have been able to do it if it hadn't been for group sex or threesomes. It got, kind of gets you used to the images, used to the experience, it's open. Because to date a woman, in, I mean, back in the in the late 60s and 70s, you really had to make, you had to make up your mind. You had to be straight or gay. Yes, career the, woman or stay-at-home mom. There yeah, was no... It, you, you didn't mess around with Mr. In, or Miss in between. But the feeling that I, I was able to have sex with women during group sex because it was casual sex. It was yes, easy. Yes, it wasn't a relationship where talking, you went on a date with a woman and now it's a dating situation. So you're talking yes. about the body yes. sex group where the women have a chance to be sexual with themselves in the presence. And together in sisterhood. In the presence of other And it's women. really beautiful. So does that make me gay? Uh... That makes me sexual. I, I don't want the label. Exactly. I really don't. Exactly. And I, and I say this to my questioners all the time. At some point, we're all going to be just sexual, and we will be aware that it will change. It will shift over a lifetime. The way I dealt with it as a feminist in the 70s, I just, you know, hey, Betty, you have to make up your mind. You can't be. Because the lesbians did kind of kick you out of the club. Oh, Totally. You know. like, most clubs play that game. You weren't in the married club. You weren't in the steady club in a steady relationship. <laughs> you weren't in the male club, the boy <laughs> club, or the girl club. So I finally said... <laughs> Everyone I, kind of slammed the door <laughs> in your face. Damn it. So I finally said, with pride, I'm a heterosexual, bisexual lesbian. And finally, I'm beginning to understand this as I enter into the phase of octogenarian octogen I can't even say it octogenarian octogenarian that and I said this in my first book 
I really, my, my main primary love affair is with myself. So you, end, you, start, you start with yourself, and trust me, you're going to end with yourself, if you're lucky.